Mark Leishman, an Australian golfer, has accepted that he won't be able to play regularly in majors again because of how the Live World rankings are stuck. Mark Leishman has said that his move to the Live Tour would have been much harder if he hadn't been told early on that he could still play on his home turf. Mark Leishman's big Live admission as Aussie superstar set for $2 million golf shootout. Try to carve it in there left to right. Pins in the back left hand corner. Which... Leishman got back to Australia on Friday for a tournament that will be his first on home soil in three years. He will be a big name at the $2 million Australia PGA Championship, which starts on Thursday. Fellow Aussies Adam Scott and Cameron Smith will also be there. The fact that Live Golf is not yet official has caused Leishman's world ranking to drop to 68. At the end of each calendar year, the top 50 golfers in the world get an automatic invite to the Masters. Leishman has made it into the top 10 three times in his 10 trips to Augusta National. Leishman is well aware of what will happen if he joins Cameron Smith in the Live Golf Series. In April, Adelaide will host the richest golf tournament that has ever been held in Australia. Augusta National and the groups in charge of the US Open and US PGA Championships haven't decided yet if Live players will be allowed to play in major tournaments, but Leishman is already okay with the idea that he might not be able to play in the US majors in the future. Leishman told the Herald that that was one of the things he had to think about before moving. In the last 12 or 13 years, I've played in almost all the majors. I've had opportunities. I definitely want to play them, but I'm fine if I don't. I'll try to get into the British Open, the US Open, and the Masters of the World Rankings work out. If not, I'll just watch it on TV and hope Cam wins. All-time score record on the PGA Tour. An amazing performance. Leishman will use Live Golf's long off-season to spend more time in Australia in 2023 and has joined forces with Smith to build an Australian franchise for Live Golf. Um, there's always going to be something to play for with this team aspect of it. You know, if you're having a bad day, but one of your other teammates. I've loved my time on the PGA Tour, and the change has been a lot of fun. Leishman said about his experience on the tour, that was one of the things that contributed to my enjoyment of it. I'm not getting any younger, and although you can play golf for the rest of your life, once you hit your 40s, you start to question how well you can play the game. When the golf season is over, we will have something to work with, and we have high hopes that we'll be able to contribute to the development of the franchise and be a part of it. Following his close second place finish to Smith in the 2018 Australian PGA Championship, Leishman expressed his desire to add an Australian major victory to his six victories on the PGA Tour. According to Leishman, one of the big tournaments is missing. It's not in Australia. At the PGA, I've had a few near misses, and winning the tournament is unquestionably something I want to achieve. I'd like to get it done as quickly as time permits. I can't wait to get to Queensland for the PGA Tournament, which will be held at a course I've played well on in the past, but not since it was renovated. I've heard great things about the course that the tournament will be played at. I'm going to make an effort to give myself a chance, and then I'll observe the results. The 2022 Australian PGA Championship will get underway on Thursday at Royal Queensland Golf Club in Queensland. That slope ought to go if it does any just to the right, right center. Next, Leishman's live promise ahead of Vic return. Oh, maybe. 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 Yeah. Yes. Leishman will play in the Australian Open, which starts on Thursday in his home state. For the first time, men and women will play together at the Victorian and Kingston Health Golf Clubs. Since he and another defector, Cameron Smith, joined Greg Norman's lucrative Rebel Tour, they have been banned from playing in European and US PGA Tour events. But Australian officials have been happy to have their trump cards back home. Smith returned the favor by winning the Australian PGA Championship in Brisbane by three shots on Sunday. Sunday, Leishman shot a 4 under 67, which put him at 6 under and tied for 12th place. It was a good sign that he was back to his old self before a tournament that he said he had always been interested in. Even though he moved late in the year, he said it was because of the huge prize money and a better work-life balance. I was talking to the British Open guys, Gavin Kirkman, CEO of the PGA of Australia, and them, just asking if the Live guys would be welcome. Smith won the British Open in July before he and his partner left. Leishman told AAP, they said yes. That would have been a lot more difficult decision if it was a no. I'm happy with how things look for next week. I love playing on the sand belt, and I'm looking forward to going back to Victoria and competing. Smith won the Open Championship, which means he'll play in all four majors next year. Leishman said that was something that he had to think about now that he's not in the world's top 50 and could miss the majors for the first time in more than a decade. Leishman is sure that both tours can go at the same time. He says there's room for the 54-hole teams event, which will be held for the first time in Australia and Adelaide in March. People who don't like how Saudi Arabia treats its people's rights and world number one Roy McIlroy, who doesn't like the live tour, have said mean things about Leishman on social media, but nothing face-to-face. -face. It's been amazing here, said Leishman whose caddy, Matt Kelly, wore a live golf hat the whole time. This year, he's seen Smith become a big star, which is shown by how many young and old fans hung on his every shot at Royal Queensland. Smith said that his grandmother, who walked the course every day after her second round of chemotherapy, was the reason he was so happy to win on Sunday night. Is Cameron Smith. <laughs> 
In other news, Hovland defends BGA title in the Bahamas. Victor Hovland is on the tee at the eighth, the defending champion. Norway's Victor Hovland did a great job of keeping his cool to beat Scotty Scheffler's strong challenge and keep his Hero World Challenge title in the Bahamas. When Hovland hit his second shot from an awkward position on the edge of a bunker and it went into the water, he was in danger of losing a two-shot lead on the last hole. However, the Ryder Cup star got up and down to save an unlikely bogey. Scheffler, an American, also made a bogey on the 18th with his chip from a waste bunker hit the edge of the hole and went 15 feet past it. This gave Hovland a two-shot win on 16 under par, which was a surprise. Scheffler needed to win to take back the top spot in the world rankings from Rory McIlroy. After making birdies on the second and fourth holes, he chipped in for an eagle on the sixth hole, but Scheffler's hopes seemed to be over when he made a bogey on the seventh hole, and a double bogey on the par 5 ninth. Hovland's shot from 20 feet on the same hole put him back in the lead. Scheffler didn't give up, and the Masters winner birdied the 11th, 14th, 15th, and 16th holes to keep the pressure on. This pressure almost paid off on the 18th hole. Cameron Young and Xander Shoffley both shot 68 to finish alone in third and fourth place. Justin Thomas had five birdies in a row on the back nine to make up for a bad start and finished fifth with a score of 70. Hovland is one of only two people to win back-to-back -back titles in the limited field event. The other is tournament host Tiger Woods, who did so in 2006 and 2007. Finally, Emotional Buhai wins Australian Open. Also started right, so coming back, and surely is. Ashley Buhai was overcome with emotion after winning the Australian Open and doing something that not even Cameron Smith can say he's done. Sunday, local hopes were dashed for another year when Grace Kim, a prodigy from Sydney, lost in a dramatic way. The South African then won the match. Buhai finished with a one over par 73 at Victorian Golf Club to win by one stroke over former world number one Jay Shin of South Korea, 75. With a 72 hole total of 277, which was 12 under, Buhai won both the British Open and the Australian Open. In July, she won her first major championship at Muirfield. Smith was a strong favorite to win the Stonehaven Cup and add it to the claret jug he famously drank from at St. Andrews this year. This was the first time that the Open was open to both men and women, but the number three player in the world didn't even make it to Saturday of the Men's Open. He tied for 47th place. It was clear that Buhai was right. After the turn, the U.S. Open winner was seven shots behind Buhai and never caught up. Since Kerry Webb won for the fifth time at Victoria in 2014, no Australian woman has won the Open. Webb came out of semi retirement to play in this week's special event. He did well, making the top 30 and finishing tied for 26. Well, that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time, cheers.